I don't know if you've noticed there's something going on, not just around the world, but particularly concerning Nigeria. There's an impending judgment going on. But I'm not going to focus on judgment part. I want to focus on the reward part. Because God is bringing reward. Nigeria is going to that point where God has stopped watching, but now he wants to act. And when he's acting, he's going to come in two folds. He's going to come with judgment on one side and with promotion on the other side. Now, how do you become part of those that God is going to promote? God wants me to warn you, to warn people concerning this. Um, there are a lot of people that know the truth, but intentionally work against the truth. Most especially in the area of choosing our leaders in this country. A lot of people know the truth. A lot of people know the right path to move and what to do. But some people will just decide to choose the wrong path. If you spend a little time with God, you will know particularly how God does his things. He never does his things outside his word. And here's my warning to you. Just like I said, that you know the truth and particularly go against the truth. I'm not going to speak in directly, but I'm going to be speaking in parables, most especially in the next election. And I want to beg people because the selection process has started. The selection process has started. Please, if you've been part of those that consistently speak against the truth and you say you are a Christian, you need to stop. God is choosing people already at this particular time. And the promotion won't just come. It starts with selection process. And God searches our hearts and knows the reins of our heart. God searches our decisions when no one is there. Things we choose to do when no one is there. The same way you go to polls, you collect money to choose a bad leader. Please stop it. Because when judgment comes, definitely those are going to be the first set of people to go with the judgment of God. God was going to zoom Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But God graciously found Abraham. So Abraham received the grace of God while God was coming down for judgment. God even stopped over in Abraham's house to eat and even blessed Abraham with the promise of a child at their appointed time. So also, as after God left, he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. God has visited Nigeria right now. And I know if you are sensitive, you will have seen the move going on right now. I don't want to beg you. Psalm 75, if you look at verses 2 to verse 8, he said, you say, I am calling this meeting to order. Nigeria is that meeting. God is saying enough is enough with what has been going on. God has been keeping quiet. People have been coming and plundering this nation. And God is saying, enough is enough. He said, I'm ready to set things right. When the earth goes topsy-turvy and nobody knows which end is up, I nail it all down. I put everything in place again. I say to the smart, that's enough. To the bullies, not so fast. Don't raise your fist against high God. Don't raise your voice against rock of ages. He is the one from east to west. From desert to mountains, he is the one. God rules, he brings one down to his knees and pulls that one up on her feet. God has a cup in his hand, a bowl of wine, full to the brim. He draws from it and pours it and pours. He drains to the dregs. Eat wicked one, drink it all. Drink it down to the last bitter drop. So also will everyone that wants to consistently work against the path of God. That's what happens. I'm going to say this. If you are used to compromise in every part of your life, every, every promotion you get, you compromise either buying a job or paying money to get your way into a particular phase of your life. What they're saying is enough is enough because it's going to lift up those 
that have learned to kneel down to get what they want from God. Not those that are ready to compromise. Because the day will come where you are going to need your faith, your exercise faith, and you will not be found to survive. Only those that have gone through the place of travail to get what they want from God. Those are the people that will stand in these last days. And now is the time. Selection has started and God is wiping out every compromise on the surface, on the face of surface of Nigerian politics and our economy to be ready to move into what God wants to do. This is my warning to you. Please, I said before you, life and death. Please, choose life. And that's my advice to you. The name is Uduak Akwan. God bless you. Real good. Thank you.